This is Tommy Watt for TTT Boxing and IFL TV. I'm here joined by Lenny Zappavinia at the Hardcore Gym in Sydney. How you doing, mate? Very well, thank you. Very well. Just watched yourself uh, have some uh, some pretty tough rounds with uh, with George Cambosis. This is uh, good to watch, mate. How uh, how you feeling? Yeah, unreal, man. It was um, very good, man. Very good um, high intensity, four sharp rounds today. Just to you know, um, get back to work as uh, as I'm fighting in uh, three weeks. A bit of a late, late call up for a fight. But, yeah, um, so you're on the you're on the Horn Corcoran undercard, yes. right, in Brisbane? That's right, that's right. I'm on the Horn card, so um, just getting ready, getting good shape. Like I am in good shape, so I've stayed in good shape, so I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking like a, uh, they've managed to get some pretty decent fighters on on that show. Uh, from what I'm hearing in, in the rumours, anyway, not a lot of them confirm. I think Paul Fleming will be on that show, um, and a few others as well. So. Um, for yourself, I guess it's just important to, to get busy again and, and start, you know, getting some, some fights and momentum under your belt. Absolutely, man. It's just uh, another fight. Stay busy, get, get a win under my belt, and then uh, next year we're looking at some big plans. You know, just want to, you know, want to go for that world title again. You know, try to chase a big eliminator. And um, my dream is to have a rematch with Lipinets for the IBF full title. Yeah, that's what I was going to go on to. Obviously, the, the, the disappointment of that fight with, with Lipinets, but I understand you're pretty keen to uh, say get, chase that rematch and, and have another crack at that fight. How um, has there been much conversation about that? Is that something that's in the works or well, something you want to force? I, I mean, it's something I want to force. Yeah, you know, something I want to chase. Yeah. That, that's my dream, you know, because I know in my heart I can beat, I can beat him. So um, I want a rematch and. Um, that's, that's, that's what I'm heading for. Yeah. yeah so we'll, we'll see how things go. You know what I mean? There's, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of plenty of opportunities that are going to pop up. So our doors are open and we're ready to just we're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, this fight is obviously in Brisbane. So you're back in Australia. Past that, are you going to be training back in America, looking to base yourself out there again, or are you going to have a few more fights in Australia? How's that looking for yourself? No. Nah, well, definitely still going to base myself um, at America. I mean, three weeks to go. You can't really fly there, yeah. train there, and come back. So there's just not enough time. You know what I mean? So I'm um, training here at Hardcore. Uh, uh, amongst with Mick Ackaway, he's, he's, he's part of our team, and um, yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get in good shape here and do what I've got to do December 13th. Yeah, it's a fairly impressive gym setup they've got here, um, it's absolutely massive. And uh, just in the gym this morning, we've got yourself and George Cambosis, we've got Gary Sinclair, Nader Hamden, Sakio Bika, Bill Al there's a, a few names floating around the gym. What, um, it must be good just to be around and to train with guys like this all the time. You know time. what, um, um, yeah, it, well, I am looking forward to come back and having a little prep here in, in, in Australia, you know, fighting back in my hometown or, or in, in Australia, yeah. in Brisbane. So um, it's exciting, um, you know, and, and a big thing to George Cambosis, you know, I was sort of struggling. I don't know who's around for sparring anymore. I rang George, he was here in a heartbeat, he's ready to give me some rounds, so I, I can't ask for more than that and they'll quality rounds. Mm. So I'm um, now just, just going to hunt out for some more work, obviously work with George, a few other guys have got in mind. And we'll just you know, do what we've got to do and get ready. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you back on these shores. And just finally, before I let you go, I know you sparred George three, four years ago. Uh, he obviously would have been a lot younger and a, a lot more green those days than uh, than he is now. What what changes have you noticed in in, in George over those few? Oh, years? absolutely. He's, you know, uh, his, his, his speed, his hand speed is very impressive. Um, good, good, um, very good um, schoolwork, good counter puncher. I mean, he's he's, he's he's come up a long way, especially with all the experience he's had over in America. And it's part of a lot of guys I've spied, so um, it's improved out of, out of sight. You know? Yeah, and uh, I guess you know, there's that people like yourself, he's watched growing up, and uh, big names within the sport, they're, they're getting towards that tail end of their career, and there's a real, real surge from people around George's age that. Of, uh, of Aussie fighters, and are you seeing that talent coming through? And are you seeing like Australian boxing seems to be on the rise from, oh, from the outside it's looking? It's definitely in? on the rise. There's a lot of good fighters coming through. So um, you know, and Combust is definitely one of them. You know, credit due to him, and he's going really well. And I wish him all the best. Well, we're really excited to see you back in Brisbane, mate. I will be there. We'll catch up with you there at the Corcoran undercard. Uh, if we don't see you before, if not, best of luck in the rest of camp, and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. <laughs>